Good afternoon all, what's going on? Um, welcome to Mr. FOMO, this is Mr. FOMO himself. Um, hey, just a quick one, uh, just before I get started, please give a sub to the channel if you haven't subbed already, if you like the content. Uh, today we're going to be discussing quite a few things, this might be one of the longer ones that I do. Um, we're going to be discussing warm, Wormhole, which is, uh, we just lost 120,000 Ethereum. Um, we are going to be discussing a little bit about um, Time Wonderland, but not too much. The other one I want to talk about, really want to talk about, is uh, Stable One. I don't know if you guys have um, come across this one or not, but it's definitely up on the charts over here. And then finally, what I want to talk about is, um, is Facebook and Meta. So let's get started straight away. So, so the first one I wanted to obviously talk, talk about uh, I won't go. On, I won't go through them in any particular order. But um, let's talk about uh, Time Wonderland. So, just my sincere apologies, guys. Look, as I said, I'm new to this. I there's a lot of things I don't understand, you know, and I'm I'm learning as I go as well. So I hope you guys. The whole idea is to document my journey so that you guys can see what I go through. And if you guys are making similar mistakes or anything you guys are doing differently that can help me make this all better. Um, the treasury at the bottom, it goes up and down a bit, but it's usually based, my understanding is it's based on the income it produces on a daily basis and something that's around a million dollars or something. This was posted by a guy on Reddit, and I do thank him a lot for letting me know this. Um, I wasn't I wasn't aware of this at all. I thought the treasury was the treasury balance was done on the basis of the amount of money people put in. That, that's what I always thought it was, yeah? Um, but anyway, I'm wrong here, and if I am, so be it, yeah? I mean, something... Le something learned and gained so let's move on um that's about all i want to talk about for time on the land because it is a piece of shit um, we all know how much i hate it so let's just move on so next one i want to talk about is wormhole so this is this is a quite a big one um so if you guys didn't know um cryptocurrency platform wormhole was they were hacked for 325 million now that's a fuckload of money, yeah, that's a boatload of money. Now, if you guys don't know much about Wormhole, and I'm pretty sure most of you would have heard about this, heard about this by now, um, they were hacked for 325 million. Um, it, it just baffles me. And then what happened after that was a company called Tra Jump Trading, which is, I've been going up there, they, they came in and they rescued them. They gave them the money. And said, look, you know, we believe in the project. The project is fantastic, so we're going to give the money and make sure everyone gets paid back so there's no no problems moving forward. Now, our security flaw was fixed but seemingly not applied to the live application before it was hacked. On Wednesday, the decentralized finance DeFi wormhole, <laughs> I love saying the name, um, became the vic victim of the largest cryptocurrency theft this year and among the top five largest cryptocurrency hacks of all time. Now, a lot of you guys don't know this, but I don't, I don't know this either actually, but they made off with 300. Now, depending on where you look, some say 325 million, some say 310 million, some say 300 million. Um, yeah, both 325 according to this, The Verge. Yeah, we're looking at The Verge here today. Uh, they made off 325 million. That tax seems to have resulted from a recent update to the project's GitHub repository. Sorry about the pronunciations. I do have some tongue twisting words in me. It happened on February the second, and it was noticed when a post from the Wormhole Twitter account announced that the network's been taken down for maintenance. So let's have a look at that. What these guys are saying. Um, integral all funds. So this is all funds have been destroyed, and Wormhole is back. We're grateful for support, and thank you for your patience. Being a multi-chain infrastructure. A jump crypto, jump crypto is the guys. Uh, jump trading is essentially that's why we replace 120 core Ethereum, K Ethereum to make community members whole and support wormhole. Now it continues to develop. So this is the day on February third. It says second, but it isn't. Um, on February third, the wormhole network is down for maintenance. We'll look into ex potential exploit. We'll provide updates as soon as we can. The potential the vulnerability has been patched. We are working to get the network up as soon as possible. We'll be deeply grateful for your support and thank you for what blah blah blah. So one thing to do is just jump on and see what this wormhole crypto is all about. Um, they're probably another DeFi. I imagine they're another DeFi protocol. Um, 
on the Solano. Um, 325 crypto is a fuckload, yeah? A fuckload to lose. So let's have a look at this, if this is the same one. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into this again, yeah? Um, I, I do want to dig into wormhole now that I know that they exist. Look, to me, Time Wonderland, <laughs> Time Wonderland always comes up, was the biggest protocol of them all, yeah? So I will do some research into this and give it a full in-depth video at some stage regarding this, yeah? Um, but but that being said, losing $325 million and they're getting jump trading to jump in there. So committed to world-class research yeah that's who they are they've got a lot of shitload of recording. jump crypto is building towards the next frontier these guys are huge yeah so they managed to give 325 million back just like that shows how huge they really are and how much they below how much they believe in the initial project um i'm gonna do a deep dive into the project at some stage and find out a lot more about it uh, so you can definitely count on that happening at some stage one of the other things I wanted to talk about was Facebook. Now, in recent news, I don't know if you guys if you guys noticed this, um, Facebook actually lost a ton of money. Yeah. So, in the quarter earnings that came out, Meta's market value plummets by two hundred billion as Facebook users base declines. Now, that has obviously got a lot to do with TikTok. I imagine it has a shit ton to do with TikTok. Yeah. And. Irish peer host. Through all the challenges Facebook's faced over the years, one thing has been consistent. More and more people keep signing up. Facebook lost daily users in the last three months of 2021. Its parent company, Meta, has just had its worst day ever on Wall Street. So moving into it, Mark Zuckerberg, people have a lot of choices now for where they want to spend their time, and apps like TikTok are growing very quickly. The wildly popular short video app is swinging users and advertising dollars from Facebook and Instagram, threatening the heart of the company's portfolio profits and portfolio. So it's scrambling to catch up with new features like Reels on Instagram, which is basically a TikTok clone, while acknowledging that TikTok may have an insurmountable head start. So TikTok's way ahead of the market. We all know that as well, you know. The thing that is somewhat unique here is that TikTok is so big as a competitor already and all continues to grow at a rate quite fast. I imagine with the whole, um, when, what's his name, when Trump was in power, he's really pushing for the TikTok sale. I imagine Mark Zuckerberg had something to do with this. This is just all my thoughts, um, because they were probably wanted a piece of that action. So they wouldn't grow, so, grow big so fast, yeah? So regardless, that being said, Facebook losing money in 200 billion as their Facebook user this that's quite a big deal. Um, I don't know how you guys feel about it. Let me know what your thoughts are on this one, yeah? This one's really quite big. Also, would like to hear all your thoughts about the wormhole as well. Um, and then some guy, um, I was on Reddit, so that's quite good. So this is another thing I want to talk about on Reddit. It's Earth Fund Dow. Does anyone know what Earth Fund Dow actually is? I have no idea myself, yeah? Uh, Earth Fund, let's, let's call it Earth Fund Dow. What is Earth Fund Dow? Oh, here we go. The global change for, the Dow for global change. Look, again, this is one I have to research, and once I research it, buy one Earth and join the Dow, change the world. 0 0.77 is the one Earth price. Shall we, shall we check out the earth price and how it's going in the market and how old it is? That's probably going to help us, isn't it? Earth Dow Coin. Let's just have a look. Oh, here we go. Earth Fund Dow, Coin Gecko. There's pricing here. Um, I want to get a better idea. Oh, so it's eight cents over here. God. A bit behind, isn't it? You could probably leverage it if you want to. Um, and get out all. Oh, I want to know all. So it had a bit of a bounce back, and then it just fell crazy down here. Six, boom. I mean, a lot of people are losing money. You buy down here, you're going to lose money, you know. What's the market cap for this baby? Uh, price change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trading volume of 2.6 million in 24 hours. Uh, 6 million fully delivered market cap. Let's have a look a little bit more. There's 1 billion Earth token. Max supply is 1 billion. Um, I'd love to know who's behind this project. Um, no thanks. I'd love to know who's behind this project. There's 122 million circulating of the 1 billion. Um, that's quite interesting. 74.3 and fully, fully diluted, yeah? So there's someone holding on to a lot of tokens over here. 
that's very, very interesting. I'm very, very, um, it's, it weirds me out, but okay. Uh, I'll, I'll have to, guys, I'll have to read this one up and come back to you on this one. I'll have to read the thing in the contracts. Um, so the next one I want to jump into is my my little beef that I've started with oh, stable coin. We all love to start beefs with stable coin. So this is stable coin. God bless them. Um, stable one, sorry, my sincere apologies, guys. Stable one, there they are, automatic. Uh, they've grown to 1,051 followers. They were 251 the other day. Um, so they've had a bit of an issue. I've been on the telegram. I've been watching it. I've been watching people trying to get their money back. Some guys just want to get their money back. Look, I said in my previous video, if you went to it, it's on my channel, guys. It's here, this table one video, um, that I was probably going to invest into it. But right now, I don't think I will. Um, I'm getting a lot of bad vibes here. De a, lot of the, a lot of the guys who shill projects online, I've seen the guys who do it on YouTube. Yeah, they're shilling this hard. Yeah. Now, the way this works is you put in the money, your initial investment, you can't actually take it out. That's first and foremost. Secondly, uh, where, where do we go? Secondly, when when you do put money in, you can only withdraw it every 10 days. Yeah, that's not how it works. Now, Stable One is moving forward and they're creating an NFT as well. And through that, you can get some rewards. I haven't read the NFT paper and I'll probably read it later tonight. So when I read that, I might give you guys some, some more information based on the NFT and stuff. And if you do want to invest... Um, personally, I won't be investing in this at all, yeah, it sounds like a, it sounds like a Ponzi scheme, straight up, because you don't know what they're doing with your money, so, and I have been on their ass about this all fucking day, yeah, so, Twitch and applies, let's have a look, I'm sure I'm up there somewhere, you know, are you excited about the, are we, uh, no, 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 here we go, would love to know who's behind the project, that's from me, by the way, yeah, maybe you could help me out, here's, the, there's many things that lead me to believe this project is a scam and a slow rock pool, if you can leave the FUD to rest, I would appreciate it, YouTube video soon, so they replied, let's have a look at their beautiful reply, oh, they, oh sorry, that's me, <laughs> let's have a look at their beautiful, I know the replies in here, feel free to join our telegram with the owners, do AMAs, to speak to the community over voice chats, taking questions, answering them. Honestly, well, mate, if your project's too good, your owners should be up here, straight front and center like Danielle. And even he's still fans. And yeah, I won't go into Danielle anymore. I should, I should leave that one out. But you know, you get the meaning. Um, I'm already in Telegram. I listened I listened to the last, last, last MA, yeah, good one, last AMA. I think that it's a scam. When you won't tell us who's behind the project, so the YouTube videos will be as such, unless you can show me otherwise. Thank you. So I've been very clear and direct about how I want to go about this. Um, so they said, it's an ROI project. We do not need to dox ourselves. <laughs> Motherfuckers. The project is fully audited. So, so let's talk about the auditors, audit, audit project, yeah? Yes, one thing is correct. They are audited, yeah, and they love to say it, yeah, audit. You click the audit. What is audited? The contract, yeah. So just just to be clear, I have made this clear previously as well, yeah. What is audited is the actual fucking contract, and they are straight up. These guys, straight, disclaimer, this audit is only to the smart contract code and specified address. Look, you don't know what these guys are doing with your money, Lots of red flags. You don't know who's behind it. it. To me, it just seems like a Ponzi scheme. You put your money, I'll pay the last guy. You can only get out money every 10 days. And you can only do so many transactions. Look, obviously, when you go to the Telegram, there's lots of cunts in there who probably have been paid off by these guys to just go and then be bots and create fake names and fake information. So what they do is they constantly say, look, I managed to withdraw my money, ha ha. And there's still cunts in there who haven't received their money for five to 10 days. And they're wondering, when can I get my money? So that is always an issue, yeah? So it, it's it's one of those things, you know, like, do you believe in a project when you don't know anyone who's behind it? Even what the country they're from? What they're doing? With your money? Is that something you're happy with? And this referral thing is so set up like an MLM system. Multi-level marketing at its best with Stable One. Let's do multi-level marketing and let's be scam Ponzi with Stable One. That's how I feel about the project. If you guys don't feel the same, let me know. Um, hey guys, it would help a lot if you guys could just drop a like. Um, please sub to the channel. I know I've been really over the top about this one. I, I just feel like... When people are when when people are willing to come forward and really talk about their project and and it's hiding behind the computer, you, you can't trust them. Let's put it in simple, the most simplest way forward. 
your friend comes to you and says, hey guys, I've got this great opportunity to invest with you. And sometimes you're scared to invent, invest with your friends. You ask a lot of questions. But here online, we're willing to just throw money at bullshit because we just see these amazing returns. Yeah? Simply amazing returns. We're like, fuck yeah, I'm going to get these amazing returns. Every day I'm going to get my 7% daily. Daily 7%, yeah? And then 30 days, 20%, 21% auto reinvest. Now, how are they making this happen? Can someone explain to me? I would love to read. Love to, I've read their white paper. It does not answer their question. It's bullshit. If you're reading the white paper, you can, you can jump on it, yeah? Let's go to the white paper. You can jump on the white paper and have a good read about how it all works. I did. Um, and it didn't make much sense to me. Look, it's just a whole bunch of bullshit PR. That's how I look at it, yeah? So thanks anyway, guys, for this video, um, for listening into this video. Please leave your comments behind, uh, comments below. The wormhole thing, I, I think, needs a bigger video, um, and I think we need to talk a little bit more about Stable One. And you know, there's there's a lot of things over here, yeah. Like one of the things I will admit to in my mistakes, I did, I did. I did text Stable One and I did say that, hey guys, you know, there's these photos. Looks like you guys are asking for people's, people's seed phrase. Um, unfortunately, that's not true. Stable One has never done that. They would never ask for anyone's seed phrase. But that 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 being said, I still think this is a Ponzi scheme. If Stable One wants to, prove to me otherwise that this is not a Ponzi scheme. Yeah? Anyway, guys, have a great night. Drop the sub, guys. Helps a lot. We're at 46. Yes. And if you're not following me on Twitter, guys, this is where I get all my, this is where my, all my beef happens. <laughs> It's Twitter at Lucius, which is my name, and I'm Mr. FOMO at I'm Mr. FOMO at on on YouTube. Um, I've got rid of my TikTok guys because you know, like TikTok wasn't doing much for me. Um, so I'm just gonna fo I'm just gonna focus on creating content, hopefully for um, this channel only. Thank you so much, guys. Have a blessed weekend. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a video tomorrow because my birthday's coming up, um, and I might be trashed and smashed. Peace out, guys. Cheers.